Okay, so actually I don't even have to change the picture. Um, because instead of throwing a dart and landing inside the circle or landing inside the circle, where I got the probabilities of fourth, I can continue looking at the center of that chord, and it's going to lie on a radius of the big circle, right? Yeah. Okay. So all I have to do is say, hey, does it land before here? Does that center of the chord land before here, or does it land outside there? Right? So it's, it's just on whether, when I rotate the triangle around to line it up with the chord, either the center of that chord is on this part of this line, or it's on this part of this line. So all I have to do is look at this line, and I don't have to look at any of the areas. Right? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, maybe that's easy, actually. Maybe we should keep track of what it was before. Well, we already know it's a fourth, right? Yeah. The probability is a fourth because we said this area and that area, and that's what geometric probability is about. Right? Yeah. Areas. Well, maybe it's about lines, though. So, how long is the radius of the circle? Well, it was, wasn't it, it was 2 over root 3. Right, 2 over root 3. That's how long the big circle is. How long is the radius of the smaller circle? It's 1 over root 3. 1 over root 3. So what's the probability when I pick the center that it's inside this circle versus on that circle? Well, it's just the probability that it's somewhere on this line, either over here or in here, which is... Uh, it's this to this. Yep. Yeah. And what is that? Oops, that flips. You get one half. Huh. Maybe the answer is a half. Hmm. 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 Wait a minute. This is. That's so weird. weird. Okay. Well, that's strange. Yeah. Ready for E? Yeah. 